Let's get into the video. Okay. Guardianship. Um, got more information on it. Guardianship. My understanding is that when a parent cannot take care of a child suitable, living ranges doesn't, I mean, can mean a lot of stuff in their past when they're going back to it. So, for my knowledge, for guardianship, is that they're not suitable. They still have their rights, so you cannot say you want an adoption. But guardianship, they still have their rights. So if you don't, if you do guardianships, you still have that legal right to take care of them. Even though their parent still have their rights. So guardianship, you will still make all the decisions. He or she, what they can do, what they can do, and still sign off of it. Um, also, too, sometimes for the guardianship, that says the other party, the other parent supposed to did something and they did not do it yet or kind of slacking on it. And then when they start signing all these papers before the court date, it's kind of like a little small reality check, like this is actually happening. So for my knowledge, um, that's if you need the foster care child social security number, the ASHI card, the birth certificate, the ASHI insurance card that you did not get when they enter your home. So that could be another fight. Another thing too. All you got when the kid enter your home was numbers. So when you go to the doctor, that's like he has an insurance card. I just need you the number. Or that's like just give me the day of birth. Um, some insurance kind of like, I know we need the car so we can actually make sure the numbers are co correct. But lately, I've been having so so problems with that. But now it is like we got it already in the system. And that the more I keep making appointments with that facility or that company because of dental or eye care, whatever the case might be, they know and kind of know this is where. And plus, before the child enter your home, you get like a verification flow form to take with you. So if you want food stamps, if you want insurance card, whatever the case might be, if they child went to the hospital, they have you still you have that paper. You still have that right. Everything still goes to me because I'm in I'm the foster parent. On a different hand, with the guardianship. It's they apply with their little paper, but this time you in more. And also too for the guardianship, you also have court dates and you will still receive in paper mail actually um through the judge, kinda like a weekly thing or a monthly thing telling you what's the update, how things will be processed, even though you was there. So it's kinda like a little summary, what happened, what's going on into the guardianship um also too for the guardianship you can stay and make process also as well okay so you still make process also as well so anything that changes you inform that caseworker um as you no know, of course you can punish them also as well but for guardianship, they can still have can still talk to their parent, but parent cannot do as much as he or she supposed to because you have that legal rights. You still, they still can. Oh, excuse them. They still they have they have their rights, but they don't have their rights to tell you what that child can do or cannot do. Another scenario is that if a child keep contacting their parents and five out of ten parent wanna act like they want to take you out of the school but didn't really give conflict 
of your name of their name the school would give you a call because you're the foster parent because you are in a system as the guardian for right now so that can be another thing talk to you on my next video click subscribe leave a notification give me a thumbs up let's get this thousand dollar subscribers let's get the four thousand reviews by this year y'all we gotta dive in we gotta go hard talk to y'all later peace out